Well, now that we've kind of got our useless ROM going in a direction here, uh, we need to continue working on branding. And part of branding is, you know, just making it look like your ROM, and part of it is making sure that it's distinct from other ROMs, so that way people know, you know, it's, it's yours instead of someone else's. So, uh, one of the ways that you can really do that is by having custom boot animation when it boots up. Right now, uh, it would use the Lineage OS uh, boot animation because that's what uh, we forked from to get started. But if we want our own custom boot animation, one of the things you can do is you can jump online, you know, and you can just say, you know, download custom boot animations for Android, and you'll find videos uh, or places like here on XDA, they have, you know, um, you know, dozens of boot animations that you can download. And that's really cool. Uh, you can. There's videos about how to make your own. Um, I used to make some of my own as well, and so uh, I'm just going to use one that uh, that I've got. Um, so, uh, but uh, you know, you can make your own, or you can, uh, um, you know, just get some from somewhere else. Uh, perhaps uh, later that might be a video that I make is how to make your own boot animation. It's kind of fun thing to do and it uh, and it really is uh, kind of an interesting process. Um, but yeah, so you need that you need that boot animation and then you're going to be able to change uh, your boot animation for your ROM. So remember you go back to your vendor useless ROM and uh, here we have in our pre-built common uh, no not in pre-built it is boot animation right here so you have this boot animation tar and this generation generate boot animation shell script and so if we open that with jedit and we look at this uh, notice that this file still needs to be changed because it says vendor cm and we need it actually to say vendor useless ROM. So let's replace all of those. Close. We'll save it here. Um, and it actually extracts it and then makes the uh, you know the boot animation out of that. So there's a couple different ways that you could go about doing this. And uh, um, one is if you have your own boot animation uh, tar or if you have your own uh, boot animation uh, zip uh, notice that in the end it zips it up and puts it in uh, out boot animation dot zip so you could just work with that as well so there's pretty much uh, amongst here two different ways to go about doing this um, they do have the tar format right here and let's take a look at that tar and uh, we'll just make a copy and we'll go to our downloads folder where we can uh, paste it and we'll extract it here just so we can take a look at what's in there and you see there's boot animation and there's part 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and each part just has all the different you know pictures that get made um, into there we go uh, into the uh, Um, animation itself and then once it finishes then it you know kind of fades in and out and just keeps running this over and over again now the script that's here in our um, useless ROM boot animation this script right here this description dot text is what actually tells it how to do what it's going to do um, and so it's going to run through this, it's going to run through that, um, and uh, then it's going to, uh, to build what it's going to build. So uh, what you could do is if we take <coughs> our Night at the uh, Opera, uh, this is actually Chess Night at the Opera, the famous game between Paul Morphy and uh, two other gentlemen, uh, there at uh, the Opera House. Um, if we make a new folder and we throw this in here 
And this is just animation that I made uh, with uh, two parts, and it just shows the uh, the board comes into uh, into play here. Maybe I'll just cycle through it real quick. So the board comes into play, uh, and then um, uh, you know a little bit of a title introduction, and uh, the game is played on your phone. Uh, all the way to the end, and once it gets to the check checkmate there, then it actually switches to the second folder uh, for um, you know just showing the checkmate over and over again. Um, but uh, so there's two ways we can go about putting in our own um, brand of uh, custom ROM here. We could replace this boot animation tar with our own boot animation uh, parts from here and our description for the description. Uh, there, that would work. Or we could uh, go a second route, which is more of like a style that you'll see in AOKP or other vendors, where they put it into pre-built under boot animation. And then what they do is they just add it they're in a couple different sizes. Uh, this is the old way of doing things, and the reason being is because they had to manually make all the different sizes for you. Um, and then uh, this script here just literally uh, adds it in. Let's take a look here. Um, no, nope, must get called somewhere else then. But it gets it gets added through that method. So that's one method to do is to use the pre-built, um, and then you have to make sure that you add it to uh, your configs in here to tell it to use that pre-built. Um, but we'll stick with the the method that we've got here uh, for um, this boot animation tar. So one of the things that we would want to do is find our boot animation. There we go. So we have this boot animation. Uh, we're only going to need part 0 and part 1 for my boot animation. And actually we'll just delete all of these and take our untitled folder. And we'll take part 0 and part 1, copy those, and put it into our boot animation folder and then we're going to take our description and we're going to open that with gedit and we're going to look at the other description that's in our vendor useless ROM boot animation and uh, there's a slight difference because of uh, things changed over time but uh, what we want is 0, zero for part 0 And then we want one zero, meaning repeat endlessly for the other one. So we'll save that. And we can close this. And so then we need to go to our folder and uh, we need to uh, zip this back up. make a tar here. So let's grab our terminal, cd, cd downloads, uh, and then we want to tar, we want to uh, create a file um, boot animation dot tar and we're going to use the boot animation folder. Now if we did this right copy that, put it in here, then we can extract it, and we'll see boot animation with part 0 and 1. Okay, good. So, good way to check yourself. So we take our new boot animation, we'll copy that, and we go to here, paste it in, replace, and there we go. So, uh, 
in here it goes through and it is going to um, build all the different variations that you need um, for that. Hopefully I did that right. Um, we'll save that. And if, uh, of course, if that didn't work, then of course we'll just have to come back and edit that again. But I think, I think that's how we would do that when we're putting it in. It's a little strange using their script to build it. Uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, just doing um, uh, my own thing. Uh, I guess maybe to make triple sure, one thing you could do is if you had the original uh, boot animation tar, you could have uh, just more part one folders to be uh, part two, part three that part is just the repeating part and so it would just repeat over and over again as it was supposed to already. So just something to consider. Uh, now we need to uh, update that and uh, put that into our um, ROM. Uh, you know we can see we've got the work in progress here. Uh, save our changes and uh, get, uh, uh, get that all ready.